Hey everybody, it's Tom, WA2IVD. Last month I had the chance to go to the Huntsville Ham Fest and I drove out and back so I had quite a bit of time on the road and I decided to do some HF work with my 7100 and I'm going to show you today some of the techniques that I use to help log contact since when you're driving alone in the vehicle you probably don't want to be writing things down. So you can use the voice recorder on the 7100 to help out with that. First, let's take a look at one of the contacts. Calling CQ, this is Whiskey Alpha 2, India, Victor, Delta, mobile calling CQ and standing by. A2IVD, mobile, Whiskey Alpha 3 Oscar. The name here is Mike, Mexico, India, Kilo Echo and the QTH here is in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'll give you a report on that next door. I was switching some antennas around to see if I could hear you a little bit better. Uh, back to you. Yeah, Whiskey Alpha 3 Oscar from WA2 India Victor Delta. Uh, good afternoon. Name here is Tom, Tango Oscar Mike, and we're mobile uh, in Kentucky, just uh, heading toward the northwest corner toward Illinois, on our way back to Kansas, near the Kansas City area. You were peaking about a 5758 on that one, but uh, it's a uh, little bit of, little staticky here. Got some uh, road static, unfortunately, on this antenna. So back over to you, and uh, we'll see how I'm sounding at that end. different direction. I switched, uh, I have a uh, switchable two element uh, antenna. I switched towards uh, northeast, southwest, and uh, I think it's uh, a position to you now. WA2 IVD, WA30, back to you. Yeah, WA30, WA2 IVD. Yeah, real good copy that time, Mike. Switching the antenna around helped a lot. You were a pretty steady 5859 there. And uh, we're running your rig's younger brother. I'm running the 7100. And we're using a roof, uh, Wolf River coil. 7-3, stay here. Drive safely and uh, work again uh, soon sometime. Bye-bye uh, for now. Uh, I don't log on paper when I'm driving, but I do have the 7100 uh, recording this, so I'll take the stuff down when I get back home and uh, we'll get it into the log. Uh, WA3 Oscar, WA2 India Victor Delta Mobile will be clear. All right, 7-3s, take care and uh, drive safely. Uh, Whiskey Alpha 3 Oscar now, uh, QSY. Bye-bye. I made a number of contacts on the trip out and on the trip back, and it was quite a bit of fun. So, before we take a look at the settings for the voice recorder, you need to have an SD card installed in your radio in order to use the voice recorder. So we're going to take a quick look at putting that in the radio. It's very simple, but you have to have one installed. There's a slot labeled SD card on the front of the radio unit, and all you've got to do is push the card in till it clicks, and you're all set. Okay, now that we've got the memory card installed in the radio, we're going to set up the voice recorder settings. Most of the default settings are going to be fine for this, but we'll walk through them. Just real quickly, you can tell that you've got a memory card in by looking in the upper right corner of the display here. You'll see just a little sort of black symbol that looks like a memory card or looks like an SD card. If that symbol is there, then you've got the memory card installed. If that's blank, you don't have one installed. So if your head is remote from the radio and the radio is not convenient like mine, you can quickly double check to make sure you've got a memory card in. I have gone on trips or gone on short trips and realized I didn't have one in because I'd pulled it out to take the files off of it.
Okay, we've installed a memory card, so the first thing we're going to do is go in and make sure that that's formatted. Now, you only have to do this once the first time you're using a memory card if you haven't done it before. So we're going to go into Set, and I'm going to go to the SD card menu, which is all the way at the bottom. It's on page 4 of 4 in the settings. And we're going to press SD card, and I'm going to go down to the bottom of that, and there is this Format option. And we're going to say Format, and it warns you to make sure that's okay, because in case you don't want to delete stuff that's on a card. So we're going to say yes. And formatting, really what it does is it erases everything on the card and it sets up a directory structure which will show you on the computer. And let me apologize if you're hearing some wind noise. It's really windy out today and it's a little warm so I have the windows open just a little bit. All right, so let's get back out of this. And now we want to set up the voice recorder function. So again, we're going to hit set and the voice recorder functions are all the way up at the top. It's the first page of the memo menu, and it's voice memo. So we're going to go to voice memo, and we want the QSO recorder. And you'll notice here on this page, we've got uh, record start. So you can start the recording here. I'll show you how that works in a few minutes. But there's also, using the quick menu button, you can get to that much faster. So we'll talk about that in a minute. So we want to do recorder set. And record mode is set to TXRX. You can change it to RX only. So this records my transmitted audio and my received audio, which is what I want. So we're going to leave that in that setting. And then uh, receive record condition and that's set to squelch auto again I want that's the default and I want to leave that the other is always which means once it starts recording it just keeps recording whether the audio is squelched or not now you don't use squelch much on HF but I'm going to show you how we can use that to kind of mark where our QSOs start and end so we're going to leave that file split also I want that on what file split does is it will make a separate file when you switch from receive to transmit and when it goes back from transmit to receive it'll create a new audio file rather than make it one great big file and again I want to leave that on and I'll show you why when we get on the computer then push to talk auto record I have that off what this will do is when you key the mic it will automatically start recording. I don't want to do that because I don't want it to necessarily record every time I key the microphone. And that's it for the recorder setting. So these are really all of the defaults. You don't need to change any of them, but I wanted you to be aware. And just in case maybe you were fooling around and you did change any of them, this is what you want them set to. And then we're going to back all the way out of that menu. Now, to start recording, the easiest way to do it, especially when you're mobile, is you can press this quick menu button, and you do have to go down one. It's at the very bottom of it, but it's got record start on the quick menu. So if I hit record start, it says recording started. And if you look up here, you'll see that our menu, our, uh, our SD card symbol is there, and there's two little vertical lines, a pause icon next to it and it's paused because I have the radio I've got the squelch turned all the way up so even though there's signals there I've got it squelched so it's not going to record as soon as I back the squelch off I'm going through that. now you'll notice that the SD card icon is blinking and the little pause symbol changed to a round circle which is the recording icon so we know that we're recording this and then if I squelch this it continues for a second or two and then it goes back into pause and the flashing stops so now it's stopped so every time we unsquelch the radio it starts recording again and it's recording to a new file and again I'll show you that on the computer so 
where that becomes useful is if you're just tuning around, I usually start it recording because sometimes I'll forget if I'm, you know, tuning around and driving and I'm not making any contacts and I'm just sort of tuning around to see who's around. And if I hear somebody calling CQ, I don't want to have to remember to go and start the recording. So I usually just start it recording when I start tuning around and I just leave it run with a two gigabyte card, which is what I have in here. And I think the 7100 supports up to a 16 gigabyte card. But even with two gigabytes, you can record hours and hours and hours. I think it actually is like hundreds of hours of audio before you're going to fill up that card. So you don't really need to worry about the recording filling up your card if you're just letting it run. So then um, when we find somebody, and actually I'm going to just turn my power all the way down here because I don't want to actually uh, make a QSO right now. Let me just find a clear frequency and even though I'm um, even though my power is at zero, we'll be legal here. WA2IVD testing. One, two, three, four, five. Now you'll notice it's still recording. But what it actually did was when I keyed the mic, it switched and it created a second file that was a transmit audio file. So once I'm tuning around, when I start looking for files to try to pick out where my QSO is starting in, all I've got to do is look for a transmit file and then I can kind of go down through there. And you may have to go through a few of them because sometimes you may call somebody and maybe they won't come back to you or they don't hear you and you try a few times. But the key thing here is that transmit file. And again, we'll take a look at that on the computer. So that's really it for how you're going to set this up to record your uh, QSOs. You're going to pretty much use the default settings, which we went through, and you're just going to go into this quick menu and hit record start. Now you see now it says record stop because I've been recording. So when I'm done working on HF for a while and I'm you know going to go off and do something else, then I hit record stop, recording is stopped, You'll notice the pause and the record symbols went away up in the upper right corner and it stopped blinking. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now let's take the SD card out and we'll go load it into the computer and we will see how we can use those files to help us log our contacts after the fact. One other important thing, if you're going to use the recordings to log your calls and you're going to use it to help you log them afterwards, it's really important to make sure your clock is set correctly. So you are going to want to go in and we are going to go down to time set and we're going to go to date and time. I do not have a GPS on this so it's not automatically setting it and I've got my time set to the correct date and time and I've got it set to my local time here you can set it to UTC if you'd rather set it to UTC if that's more comfortable to you that's fine probably better for logging I just leave mine set to local time and I know that so I'm I'm good to go okay we've taken the SD card out of the radio and we've put it into our computer and you can see here that there's just a single folder at the root level called IC7100. This is the folder that the radio creates when you did that format card on the radio. So if we go into this folder, now we see another group of folders, decode, QSO log, and so forth. The one that we're interested in right now is the voice folder at the bottom here, or near the bottom. Voice TX is for recording uh, pre-recorded transmit messages. We'll get to that on another occasion. So we're going to go into the voice folder, 
and then in this folder we see yet more folders these folders if you look they've got the format year month day so the radio automatically creates a folder for each different day and again this is why it's important that your clock time and date are set correctly on the radio so this tells you the time or the, the date that the recordings were made in that folder I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom here and we'll see 2021 August 22nd that was the day I was heading back from the Huntsville Ham Fest now that we've gone in this folder you'll see a bunch of wave files and their file name is a similar format it's year month day but then we've added our minute second so this is the time that it started recording this according to the clock on the radio so this gives us a little more information but it's still going to be kind of hard to figure out how to log our contacts especially as you can see here I have a whole bunch of files in here starting from first thing in the morning and going through in the evening so what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of columns to the standard headers here in Explorer. And if we go up to the top here and I right click where the columns are, I'm going to add two more columns. And I'm going to click on more because one of them that I want isn't here. And if you click on more, you get all kinds of additional pieces of information. And I'm going to scroll all the way down here to find length. And length is the length of the recording in hours, minutes, and seconds. So now we've got length in there. Now you can tell, so this was 7 seconds, 3 seconds, and now you get a little bit better idea because you can kind of go down and say, oh, well, here was, this was 4 minutes and 5 seconds which I'm guessing that's a receive file when I was listening on HF. You can kind of tell this from the file size, but length actually gives you a little better indication. And then I'm going to make that a little smaller, so it's just what we need. And we're going to add one more field here, and this one's right in the menu for us, is title. And title is a standard piece of metadata that goes with WAVE and other audio files. So now I'm going to put title in here, and I need to make this one a little bigger so we can see the entire field. Now we've got a little bit more useful information. So it starts with IC7100 voice recorder data. That's the preamble that the radio puts on all of them. But next, you'll see here we've got 146.520.00 FM. That's the frequency and mode that the radio was in when it made this recording. And then a little further to the right, we have TX. So that means this was a transmit recording. And then as you go down here, you'll see receive. And if I go down a little further here, we switched over to 146.94, transmit, receive, transmit, receive. So now you can kind of get an idea here. I've got transmit, receive, transmit, receive, transmit, receive. This was probably a contact that I was making because we're alternating between transmit, receive, transmit, receive. And if I just click on, if I right click on that, and I'm going to say open with VLC only because I like VLC media player. Hamfest talk-in from WA2 India Victor Delta. So that was the audio. And I like to use VLC media player. You can use the Windows media player or whatever media player you're comfortable with. But I'm going to use this one for now. And that was the audio. Now here's the part that makes it a little bit easier to get through this. It only played the one file, and I don't want to keep clicking on each one of these files as I'm going through here uh, in order to play all of these. So we cleared the playlist. When you, whoops, let me put this over here where you can see it. Sorry about that. Um, so this is a playlist in VLC. And if I want to add all these files to the playlist, 
Oh, bear with me here. I'm going to move these over. And actually, let's make this so you can see the entire laptop monitor. And there. Hopefully, that gives you a little better view. So, let me go back down here and find my 146.94. So, here's 146.94. And I'm going to take all of those. And I'm going to just drag it over here. And then now this makes a playlist in VLC. So let's see what happens when we play this back. N four H S V repeater. Well, thank you very much for those kind words. Glad you had a good time. Uh, tennis has been a little down this year compared to last year, but our year before last. But uh, we glad, glad you had a good time and hope you'll come back. And uh, uh, where do you uh, where do you hail? I am heading back to Kansas, uh, to uh, about 30, 30 miles southwest of Kansas City. Well, you have quite a trip in front of you. I'm uh, glad you attended the ham fest, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see you here next year. Okay, so you get the idea. So that was a VHF contact, but... You can do the same thing with HF. So let me delete all of these out of the playlist, and then we'll continue to scroll down. So here you see 14250 upper sideband receive, and this file is four minutes long. So I was listening here for a while, but then I transmit, and it's pretty short. And then I got receive, and then transmit, and receive, and then transmit, and receive. So I'm pretty sure this was a contact I made. So I'm going to start with the transmit, and then I'm going to go down here to the last one on 14250. And let's put that in our playlist and see what we have here. Whiskey Alpha 2, India Victor Delta Mobile. India Victor Delta Mobile Station, come back. Yeah, Whiskey America 2, India Victor Delta Mobile, just north of Huntsville, Alabama. QSL, this November 1 Kilo Sierra Charlie, you are coming through probably at 5 9 in Cape Canaveral, Lighthouse US 009er. Thanks for the call. Ah, QSL, the Lighthouse, and. Uh, Appreciate the signal report. Uh, glad to know that the mobile's working. Thanks and uh, good luck today, WA2IVD Mobile. 73, November 1, Kilo Sierra Charlie, standing by. Okay, and then that one goes on for a minute and a half, so. But now I know, I, so I can log his uh, call sign, and I know that it happened at uh, 2.16 p.m., and it was on 14.250 upper sideband. Now, this doesn't give you the power settings for the radio, so you kind of need to remember that, but probably most of the time you're going to have your rig set at least for sideband on full power. Uh, or maybe you use QRP, but whatever. As long as you know your power settings, now you can log this, and actually you don't really need the power settings for your log. So there's a contact logged while we were uh, going. That's all we're going to cover this time. One thing I didn't mention during the segment is that the volume level for the recordings is fixed. So it doesn't matter how the AF gain knob is set, the recordings will always come out the same. I really like using the voice recorder when operating mobile. It lets me pay attention to my driving and still make sure that I have everything I need to log a contact. This is especially nice when trying to work a special event station or any rare or other important contact. In the description, I've listed the section and pages of the IC7100 manual where you can find the voice recorder information. There's also a link for A to Z.tech. That's the companion website for this channel. 
If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, I would appreciate a click on the like button. If you find the channel useful, please consider subscribing. You'll also want to click on that bell icon to be notified when new videos come out. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Radio A to Z.